Hi folks, let's show how to create the cam tool paths to create a slot in this internal pocket. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. So I'll switch over from model to cam and I'll click new setup. And the orientation is wrong. Obviously we want the Z pointed straight up. So instead of model orientation, I'll change it to select Z axis. And it says, what is my Z axis? I can pick this face here that's perpendicular to it. And that actually solves all my problems. I'm good to go. I've got a body selected here. That's really important. And I'll take a look at stock and it's, it's a relative size cylinder, which is okay for this example. So I'll click okay. And just for the simulation purposes, I'll create an adaptive toolpath to get this material out. 2D adaptive. I'll do a quarter inch end mill. And I'll click this ring right here. So that'll just open up that pocket to do what we really care about, which is to cut this slot. So sometimes it's really nice to take a look at those the, this slot and, and it's a little bit difficult to do because it's hidden inside this ring. So let's hop back to CAD or model and Check this out. You can do what's called a section view, which lets you see, break this part up and look at it much better. We'll do inspect section analysis, and you need to pick um, a face or actually a plane as well. And we don't have one that bisects this part, but we do. Turn your origin back on, and if, if you take a look, see how this plane right there is the one I would want? So I don't want to pick on it, click on it this way, because I hate this hold down, and I just hate that slowness of that. So what you can do instead is um, hover over these, and you can see it should be right, the XY plane, click OK. You haven't changed the CAD file. This is just an analysis that we can turn on and off, and now you can see a cutaway of that file, which is super helpful. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't actually let you pick that like this edge right here to measure it because we haven't really created something that's measurable. It's just a, a cosmetic view, but I can still click, uh, I think, that point and that point. Oops, there we go. And see that this is a 0.05 inch wide slot. So that's helpful to see. Uh, go back to cam. We'll create a new tool. So I'm going to go first into 2D contour that's what we do to create this slot this tool I'll do this new tool icon right here it'll be oops it'll be a slot mill we'll say that the diameter is 0.375 and that there's no corner radius to it the shaft will say is a 0.25 inch shaft and the flute length, let's say it's only 0.03 tall. That'll force us to have to, to do two different cuts. Um, we'll make it 0.5 just to make this look a little bit better. Um, click OK. Click OK. And this one's pretty easy. If I zoom in here, just pick the bottom edge here. I should be good to go. Let's click OK and see what we get. Yeah, that looks good actually. Uh, I wish that section views would carry over to cam. That'd be really nice to watch the simulation from there. I'll ask them about that. If we run a sim though and click play, pause it, you can see we're cutting on the bottom edge. And so we've got to come back and cut this top part, but that's okay. Um, all the way around it, which looks great. And most importantly, what's the pucker factor here is the lead in lead out, but you can see this is a pretty open hole, so no problem there. Click on it, Control D, that duplicated it. So to cut that top one, this is how I do it. I'm open to suggestions if there's a better way. Edit, the second tab for height. I'm gonna delete that existing chain. I'm gonna rotate around. I'm gonna pick the top chain, so this one right here. Uh, you can see it's the base, the one at the top of that slide. But that would cut a slot starting there going up. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna offset from the selected contour by the height of our tool. So whatever slot tool or woodruff cutter, your, your key, you know, keyway cutter you're using, 
if you just say, hey, I want to mill at the top, but go down a compensator offset by the thickness of the tool and click OK. You can now see, that's really difficult to see. Um, can I turn off, I might be able to turn off the body. Nah, well, is there a tra maybe a transparency? Or wireframe would work, duh. Here we go. That's what we want to do, wireframe. Now you can see this one, the blue is running right at the bottom, which is perfect. And the top one, it's kind of suspended midway, but if we watch our sim, you can see that it's actually cutting just what we want. So that's a quick and dirty, folks, on just how easy it is to create cam that runs our slot. Take care, folks. See you next Friday.